Finding a parking spot in this lot can be a challenge for Jenna Whistler. Always people buzzing in and out and um, yeah, it gets a little hairy sometimes. So for her, it wasn't surprising to learn a man was assaulted here last Saturday. The Franklin Police Department calling it a case of road rage. We're definitely seeing more of them. Sometimes it's just somebody making a hand gesture. Sometimes it's somebody hollering and sometimes it's somebody flashing a gun. According to the victim, this man approached his car window, upset that the victim had cut him off earlier. And at some point, he punched the driver in the face, leaving him bruised. The suspect fled the scene. It only took the Franklin Police Department a few days to locate that man who assaulted the driver. And that was because the victim was able to snap a photo. We're obviously very happy that we have identified the suspect in, in Saturday's incident. Um, and that is quite honestly due to the public and the information that we've received. Officer Ryan Schumann with the Franklin Police Department says it's important not to engage in road rage. Behave like you would if your mom was sitting in the passenger seat. Right. Give yourself enough time to get to your destination. Try to relax and not get so wrapped up in the traffic that's that's inevitable. Show grace. Show forgiveness. Just say you're sorry. Something Whistler does all the time and will continue to do because of her younger passengers. That's like number one priority, keeping everybody safe. So just wish everybody else would think that way too. It would be helpful. In Franklin. Take a breath. Learn some breathing techniques, and we're all going to be all right. You're going to get there. Chill, you know? Aaron Contrell, News Channel 5.